Okay, just did on a 10 0. Let's just block the pawn. The opponent looks a bit frantic. I think I'm falling into a set player thing. What do we do? Okay, I'm just going to bring the knight out. Let's see if we get a chance to open the dark squared bishop. Bait a pawn, maybe. Bring the bishop back, protecting the knight. Castle. Should we attack the bishop? Are they wanting to open up our king area? It is a bit dangerous, isn't it, sometimes? Because it does give them space around the king. Mm. Oh, if we do that then he's gonna go there oh there's loads of ifs in there let's just hit the bishop and see if they're gonna do it they haven't done it yet so we'll move the knight i feel a bit rusty i've not played for a while so it takes a while to start remembering the moves so i'm gonna push onto this pawn here the queen supporting Oh, they're looking doing the battery thing so if we push this pawn here he's still to oh bishop takes pawn takes queen takes queen's going to be in front of our king queen can come across and protect so it's a bishop for two pawns okay let's do that oh it's not doing that just yet i'm not getting into the game oh it's even worse isn't it i think when the bishop takes, pawn takes, knight takes. Oh man. Oh, I've missed out. I'm going to have to move the king up to help. Or does the knight do something? Can the knight do anything? You know, I think I've just trapped myself, haven't I? I'm going to have to do this then. And he's going to take. Oh, the knight's got the damn pawn. Oh, he's on the queen and the rook. So he's got my rook. I've done this to myself, I cannot believe this. Told you, well rusty. I've not played for days. Oh, that's shocking, man. That's really bad. That's not good, that's not good. That's not good at all, no. Right, just make some moves. Well, they're just moving so confidently. Let's go here. Trying to make some space towards their king. Take. Just need to get this bishop moved out of the way. Am I going to get enough time? I don't think I'll. He's going to have loads of pieces ready and raring to protect the area. And I bet you I don't get time to move the bishop and get the rook in. So we're hitting a pawn here, we can get a check. Nope, okay, so let's get this rook bishop here. They know what we're going for, so they're just going to block it off. Going to get all the pieces here, block him here. And then that's it. Oh, they haven't done that just yet. They've taken... Queen's protecting the pawn, so that's probably why they're thinking, well, you can carry on doing that. Is there anything else before I just bring the rook here? I'm just bringing the rook here anyway. There's nothing we can do. I mean, it's just going to defend solidly. Ooh, okay, can't even get this knight out. Move the queen up. Move the queen up. So they've got stronger pieces on the board. But I'm hoping that maybe they can put them together. Bishop's really not doing much. It's just biting on nothing. Can't go anywhere. Their queen can come down, start gobbling pawns. And we don't really have a way, true way in of attacking their king. I may try to make space for the knight to try and get up here, which will be a bit funny for them. But they can go for an exchange now because they have got the two rooks. So that's what I probably think they'll be doing. So yeah, big massive error in this opening right from the start. That was too scrappy. Didn't need to do it that way at all in any way, shape. So that was a bit silly of myself. Either goes for the exchange or the bishop comes here attacking the queen. 
and none of that happens so maybe they're looking at trapping the queen we bring the knight here we're feeling that's good but then the bishop comes here maybe we come here then we're putting pressure on i'm going to go with the knight and see what happens or maybe the queen just comes and exchanges i really do think the queen's going to exchange because they do have more powerful pieces on the board rather than the bishop because if the bishop comes there it's kind of so the queens come in now it can come and put a check on the queen on the king sorry so the king can't go here it has to come into the corner i can't put another check on it can i no it can go here bishop can take why it's where bishop can now move here but there's nothing there at the minute so they're fairly covered i mean once they move there what do i do next once they move here what do i what do i do so then we've got the rook and the queen on this pawn but that's not much so maybe the pawn pushes up but his rook can come down and attack our queen but we can take it with the knight if it does do that it's not looking too good this position whatsoever so we'll go with the check anyway it's not looking good and maybe a little push here with the pawn and see what happens i think the bishop is going to be attacking our queen oh yeah hold on yeah so the bishop attacks the queen we have to move the queen out of the way and we can't come here we could come here i suppose because if the pawn takes the rook can take the queen but then we're going to be down more pieces aren't we in a sense Ooh. yeah so the bishop's going to come there if we did the push and then we lose the knight so i think we're going to have to move the knight again we're going to have to move the knight back again yeah we try that bishop straight away bang where's the queen go it's not defending the knight anymore uh, we said it can do that pawn can take rook takes sorry rook takes king takes knight moves so then we've got a knight and a bishop against two rooks that don't look too healthy does it I think we're going to have to move. There's no other magical position at all, is there, in any way, shape? No. Oh, and the, oh, wow, you know, if we move here, he can still do the bishop thing. Where does the queen go? Queen, queen would have to come here to go for an exchange. Yeah, okay, let's just bring the knight back down. Just get ready to move the queen here and uh, go for the exchange. Do we keep this pawn open or this pawn? Which one? He's already owning this file with this pawn. Could take with the knight. Flexible knight. It's got a spot here attacking the rook. Attacking the rook and the pawn, but the bishop is protecting the pawn. Which is not looking very good for our... Do we bring the bishop here to try and get it into the game a bit? Or is it just going to get trapped in that position? Hmm. Does it come here to go here? But there's nothing really there. I think the bishop needs to get into the game. Knight attacks the rook. Rook moves. Right. So attack first, maybe. Rook moves. Uh, maybe it comes here. Maybe it drops down. Then get the bishop into the game. Okay, let's hit the rook first. Attack. Then get this bishop here. Oh, sugar Ray, what's going on? Oh, has he got me some thought somehow? Let's take the rook. Did they just give me that for fun? To equal the game. So this is going to take, and if we take this, he takes the with the rook. 
we do have a check on his king. I'm gonna take. So oh man, he's defending. He didn't actually come down for the pawn. What's going on here? Do we mm, protect the pawn? Maybe with the king rather than the bishop. Mm -hmm, I'm not too sure. Let's just bring the king up and protect the pawn. Slide the bishop here. Oh, he's got two on. Let's bring the bishop protecting. Now these are going to start ramping down, so it's probably going to do that. So we'll have to push here. Let's bring this across. We'll have to just wait and see what they're doing. It looks like we seem to have... looks like it's equalised a bit. Which seems a little bit odd. So the king can take this pawn because nothing can protect. But it is protected by this pawn here. So we could kind of take. But I think they'll be trying to get the bishop out of the way. So we need to focus on this. I don't know if that works still even. Comes there, comes there. Hits the bishop. We take, takes, takes. He still gets this pawn with his bishop. We're going to check on our king. We take this pawn. Yeah, so it's going to look a bit ugly. So I'm kind of shocked that we've got to this position because it was a very terrible open. Oh, he's gone one instead of two. So do we take them? Was it not supposed to go here to support? Well, I'm not really a fan of this position at all, really. Um, it's tempting to push, but bam, 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 bam. Bishop's just got that diagonal. What else is there? Can we push on to this pawn, see what he wants to do? Or do we come here supporting this pawn? But you know, I feel his king's going to be coming down here to get this pawn. Oh man. And if I go here, this we could push. Then he can take and we can take. Oh I don't know. Let's go here. Time's running out. I'm gonna lose on time until there's no increment. So I just need to go just get in bullet mode now and hope for the best. Still shocked that we're even in this position. We should have been totally wiped out, but it looks like it's equal at the minute. He does have a bit of what's going on. So we did say push. If he takes, rook takes. If the bishop takes, pawn takes. He's got a pawn majority on this side. I'm going to push because I'm in bullet mode now. I need to just do something. Attack the rook. Let's take take oh he's faster than me is he let's come across let's take just give space for this pawn let's go let's go is it my turn To draw in it. It's a draw. Damn. I'm surprised I got a draw out of this though. Absolutely surprised. Because he's gone there so that his king can actually protect the queen. Because he's got these pawns here. If I take, then I, I don't think I'll be fast enough to go across and get his pawns. Let's do it. Shall we do a Have we got enough time to do a count? We go there, he moves, we take, he takes, and then one, 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 we might be, we might be fast enough to get a draw, but probably taking a chance.
but he's going for something different now. Yeah, he's trying to avoid the draw. Okay. See if that pattern worked. Oh, he's moved his pawn. No, what's happening? No. Hey? Oh, you're joking. My preemptive didn't work. Oh, <laughs> oh the preemptive didn't work. I should not have done that. I seem to be playing a lot of British players. What, what's the what's the deal here? Alright, so just back doing some warm-up matches and I've not played for a while so I feel like I need to just um, get back in when I say a while, a few days. And one key thing is remembering not to use the preemptive stuff. I mean, using preemptive stuff is a killer. And let's just uh, simply capture this pawn here. So we had a warm-up match earlier, um, absolutely terrible opening and seemed to be clawing it back towards the end game and then was looking for basically it was going to be a draw and what I did was I just did preemptive moves you know towards the end of the game and somehow it ended up <laughs> the preemptive stuff put me in a bad position and they ended up with a queen I'm like what I don't understand that because the, in the preemptive so it's supposed to be that the move that you make is you're predicting what they're making yeah so then the prediction would stop them wouldn't it and I was looking at the predictions and they'd actually moved their pawn but it still carried on moving my ah oh, I know what it is now whatever move they were gonna make it they would it basically was just going well I'm gonna make that move no matter what no matter what they're gonna make uh, yeah because it wasn't forced there was no forcing of their piece. Oh, light dawns on marble head. Right, yeah, I'm, yes, I'm with it now. I've just caught up. So I'm never doing preemptive stuff like that again unless it is completely forced. Damn, nugget brain. Yeah, I had a nice draw. I could have just kept on putting this king in check. But then I thought, well, let's go for this fancy thing, take his queen off. And then do a prediction with the queen but i didn't i forgot didn't i yeah because i'm moving my king and then he moved his pawn but i didn't think he was going to move his pawn i thought he was going to move his king so i i made the assumption that that's what they were going to do so i just kept on moving my king but he could move his pawn down and pawn down and pawn down so my prediction was totally wrong oh Oh, I feel sick now that I know that. <laughs> oh, I feel sick. Right, okay, let's concentrate on this one now. And focus on proper opening type stuff and not being fearful of what they're actually doing and making erroneous manoeuvres. Okay, so this person's taking absolutely ages over their moves. Well, it looks like we're going to be in trouble. So he's going Fianchetto in. It's castle. Let's bring the queen back. the knight up supporting the pawn they'll be looking to get the rook to put a three on one on the pawn here all obvious stuff so go on castle don't really know why they're taking so long but it's not a race it's a 10 minute game Ah, the little things that you relearn in your head all the time. 
<laughs> it's no matter how much you play the game, you know, with you flicking around on playing online, um, you will forget certain things of the mechanics of the game because you just get engrossed in it. So simple prediction type stuff. I don't really like doing predictive type manoeuvres anyway because you never know what the opponent's going to do so I, really I shouldn't have done that in that last game so that's my fault because I was quite impressed with the way we clawed it back actually so in this one here um, it's a slow plod obviously looking here but like I've said I think they're just looking to get more pieces onto this by once the castle get the rook here they've got the bishop here they've got the knight there already so we'll be wanting to try and get our bishop here x-raying through to their queen and then getting the rook here supporting the pawn as basic as possible it all seems a little bit defensive though you know so we should really be proactively trying to circumvent that you know, like throwing things in here, like attacking, you know, blocking that type of mentality of their attack. But if I'm attacking too early, I've not really sorted my bed out because we've not got all our pieces out. So we don't want to fall into the aspect of going too early. You'll find probably in the evaluation, it goes, oh yeah, get this in here. Do you know what I mean? Uh, without developing your other pieces. We as humans, we tend to want to yeah so they've gone a castle so let's get this other piece out before we start jumping around trying to block the attack as we said the rooks wanting to come here no nope. okay so we're not going to attack the knight or oh, we could attack the knight but it's bringing the queen into the game so let's just bring the bishop back so at least we've got our pieces out we do have an x-ray through to the king looking on a positive side all those little pictures so they've brought the bishop back just defending the knight does that give us time to move the knight and attack the knight it's just the bishop doesn't have any support so do we bring the bishop here to have some support or do we bring the rook here lots of choices options and choices knight attacks knight takes the knight but then if we take the bishop then the knight can just take so it's like we don't don't win out really there what's a more positive one maybe bringing this rook here behind the queen doubly attacking this pawn so if we do take then at least we'll be able to take the pawn not really a fan of that though because then the bishop's going to become oh what the heck is going on let's take his plus one so they've definitely gone arty fingers crossed positionally we might be slightly better only fingers crossed it just felt a little bit strange them taking that it's only because this bishop's got no protection on as we mentioned earlier so they're fashioning a way of trying to get that what they perceive as being for free so when the knight takes then you're assuming that oh they've resigned I don't know if it was a resignable thing. Oh, Might is winning. 2.3. As we know, that's not major. You, you can claw that back, but yeah, okay. Nice one. Oh, Belgium this time. Let's just push through the center here. I've not seen this maneuver in a while. Oh, here we go. Right, let's just get this knight out. Let's just support the pawn with the pawn. Let's just bring this bishop here. All right, so we've got like a far flanker. And they're moving dead quick. Let's just block this bishop type thing. Let's bring the bishop here. It's hitting the knight. Let's, can we advance the knight a bit? Okay, so he's advancing his pawns. Bishop's got this and the Queen's just there. Get the knight up, maybe. Don't want to play it like bullets. Um, let's see what advantages. This pawn's been it's got no protection on it, so maybe we can just take and come back. It looks like a set player type thing because it looks a bit odd. 
So let's just bring the knight back if we're going to get challenged, obviously. If he drops this pawn, maybe we come here, attack the bishop. It doesn't. Do we have anything else? A bit of an x-ray through to the queen. <sighs> Is there any of this business? Pawn takes, pawn takes. No. What's the knight doing? Can the knight come back again? Can we hit the head of the snake? Is it all going to fall down in between? Let's hit the head of the snake here. Go to the knight, drop this bishop. Queen has moved, so we could get a rook, maybe. So we take the pawn, get a rook. Sometimes celebrating getting a rook doesn't mean much because my position might be bad. We'll take the rook. So it's moving a bit quick now, so the queen is on this pawn. Let's take this. Oh, but the knight can get involved, can't it? So should we take the... Oh, but the bishop's there defending the knight. I'm going to take. Let's see how that looks. We take here. And there's potential maybe for something like this. I'm very wary. This was. This is an odd looking player. So pawns attacking our queen. Mm -hmm. So it's spoiling the show really, isn't it? If we take, it's going to take again. Rook can take, I suppose, then, can't it? Face there, Rook. They're playing really quick. I'm still wary. This Queen's Bishop's got this. Any major sacrifices yet? You know, you can also do that so the queen is then going to be hitting the rook twice. We can bring our rook here. It's not interested in any of that. So we could go here, attacking the bishop. That's like a mate threat, isn't it? So the queen's not going to get there in time, is it? So the piece that could defend is the rook. So then it's, it kind of escapes because then we'd have to take his king takes. Queen comes here, then he's bouncing up and down with his king. So that's very frantic. What else can happen? Because there's always magical stuff that they find, isn't there? Like stuff that I haven't seen. feels fairly clear from here, doesn't it really? What, what else can they do? Because the Queen can't get in there in time. If it did that, then that would be checkmate. There we go. So the King's just going to be dancing up and down. Escaping. Up, down, up, down. Yeah, alright. So I've got to think now. I've got to think. Rook coming across here, putting a check. He starts squeezing in here. Queen can't come here because. So if we did this, then it stops the king from jumping into here. But does it give them tempo to do something else? I think I need to be keeping the checks on you. I think I need to block his way. I think I need to block his way from trying to escape in here. And then we can bring the rook here. Yeah, he sees it, he sees it. So... He's gone to a dark square. Oh, I've got his queen. I've got his queen. Let's take... Excellent. 